the 2018 MacBook Pros are chock full of new features. So we're gonna dive in and take a look at which of those features are our favorite ones. And we're gonna walk through them one by one. Welcome everyone, this is Andrew here for Apple Insider, and we're gonna look at the top nine features of the 13 and 15 2018 MacBook Pros. If you're looking for benchmarks, be sure to check out other videos and our full reviews to see which of the new MacBooks is right for you. Now, kicking off our list is one of the most controversial items, and that is this new third generation butterfly keyboard. Apple touted this new keyboard as just an improvement by being quieter. And while that definitely appears to be the case, a more realistic scenario is they've added this new silicone membrane to help prevent debris from entering underneath of the keycaps. It still has the same exact feel that we've come to expect from Apple's keyboards, but it should be a little bit more reliable than it has been in the past. For most debris, it won't be able to make its way in, especially if kept clean. iFixit did their usual teardown and they found this new membrane. This keeps that debris out, but it's also possibly keeping the keys a little bit quieter by isolating some of that noise. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a sound test between our old model first, which is what we have here, and then the new one. Now let's type that same sentence here on our 2018 MacBook Pro. With the microphone the same distance away, it is easy to tell there's a clear difference in audio between the two. Though that alone is not a good enough reason to upgrade, it may be worth it for that improved reliability. The next one on our list is these faster processors. We've been doing a ton of benchmarking and the new pros are significantly faster than the older generation. This marks the first time that we have quad core processors on the 13 inch MacBook Pros and on the 15 inch you can actually go up to a 6 core processor. The 13 inch start off with that 2.3 quad core i5 but can go all the way up to a 2.7 quad core i7. Looking at the 15 inch model it's even more impressive. They start off with that base 2.2 GHz 6 core Intel Core i7. There's also a mid range 2.6 6 core Intel Core i7 and configurable up to that 2.9 GHz high end 6 core Intel Core i9 that even with those thermal throttling issues are still an amazingly impressive machine. Compared to the last generation MacBook Pros, we now have Bluetooth 5. Not Bluetooth 5.0, but just Bluetooth 5 is what it's called, and there's some significant improvements over the last generation. This new spec allows for low energy transmissions all the way up to four times the range of Bluetooth 4.2 low energy. That's a maximum, theoretical maximum, of around 800 feet. It also has way more bandwidth, up to double the bandwidth with the same amount of power. You'll need some new accessories to take advantage of it, but you should start to see them arrive and some huge improvements along the way. No one has really complained about Apple's built-in speakers. In fact, they are some of the best laptop speakers out there, and with the 2018 MacBook Pros, they are even better. Apple has clearly learned a few new audio tricks from their foray into headphones like the AirPods and, of course, the HomePod. They've taken that, put it into the MacBook Pro, and now while the volume is not any louder than it has been in the past, it is much fuller and richer, especially in the mids and the lows. Jumping back to the raw specs again, we have improved base VRAM. So before, if you were picking up one of these guys like the 15 inch MacBook Pro, the base video RAM that contained was just two gigs and you had to pay extra to go up to four. Now, even the base model, that 2.2 gigahertz i7 processor comes with four gigs of video RAM. That's gonna make a big difference for anyone really pushing that graphics card without having to shell out any additional cash for more memory. Since we are on the topic of memory, it's worth noting these new models have faster RAM than they ever have in the past. They've ditched the LP DDR3, the low power DDR3 RAM that we saw in the 2017 models for DDR4, ditching the low power completely, which means it will eat up a little bit more of that battery. It is now configurable up to 32 gigs of RAM, which is pretty monstrous. In the past, you were capped at 16 gigs, so now you have the option to double that, getting up to 32. Now, as I mentioned, since this will take up a little bit more power than we saw in the past and should eat that battery a little quicker, Apple has compensated for that. Inside these MacBooks is now a larger battery. It's definitely a little bit larger to help compensate for that additional power draw. So what that yields with in the end is the same battery life that you should have seen before. Of course, we're gonna run our own battery test just to confirm, but from what we've heard and what we've seen so far, that definitely seems to be the case. 
Apple's T2 chip that first premiered in the iMac Pro has made its way here to the MacBook Pros. Now this is the special secure chip that runs many different system functions including Touch ID. And in this new MacBook Pro, it actually enables Hey Siri functionality. Quick apologizing for all the devices I just triggered, but this has a great functionality to add to the MacBook and even better with macOS Mojave where you can use Siri to control your HomeKit devices. Apple sets the bar really, really high for their displays, and the same is true for the 2018 MacBook Pros. There's no huge change overall, they're not any higher resolution or anything like that, but they do adopt Apple's True Tone technology. This first premiered on the iPad before making its way to the iPhone, and basically it just changes the temperature of your display based on the environment that it's in, whether it needs to make the display a little bit warmer or a little bit cooler to match the ambient lighting. As we toggle this off here in system preferences, it's a little bit difficult to tell how much it's changing, but there is a subtle shift as this box is checked and unchecked. Should overall just make the display a little bit easier on your eyes when you have to stare at it all day long. Lastly, for you 13 inch MacBook Pro owners out there, all four Thunderbolt 3 ports are now full speed. Last time, only two of them were full speed and the others were downgraded just a little bit just because of the CPU limitations. Now the new quad core CPU has more lanes and will support more bandwidth to make all four of those ports full speed. So that rounds out our list of our favorite top nine features of the 2018, 13 and 15 inch MacBook Pros. But I'm really anxious to hear what you guys think. Which of these features is your favorite? Or if it's one that we didn't list, throw that up in the comments as well. If you'd like to pick up a 13 or 15 inch MacBook Pro for yourself, you can find information below in the description as well as in the comments. And that includes access to our exclusive price guide, which has the best prices around and some exclusive discounts. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.